You've heard me mention the value of using multiple moving averages before. Uh, well, there are actually well-established indicators that do the hard work of that for you. One of these is called the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence. The concept behind it is to determine how closely related the long-term trends and the short-term trends are, and to use that information to determine if a new trend is starting or if an existing trend is ending, or both, of course. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the charts on TradingView to wrap your head around it. So here we are on TradingView. I'm going to go ahead and click on Indicators. Uh, just search for MACD. Um, there's a bunch of them in here, but we're just going to go with the basic one to show you how it all works. So the MACD lines are typically drawn on a separate chart. That's because the numbers on the y-axis are not directly the price. It's more like a ratio between the two moving averages. So this blue line is the 12 period EMA minus the 26 period EMA. This red line is what's called the signal line. It's a nine period EMA. So the red line is an actual moving average. The blue line is some math done to a couple more moving averages. Um, hence why these numbers on the y-axis uh, typically don't line up to the original chart. So the conventional wisdom is that this blue line, when this blue line crosses the signal line, which is the red line, um, up or down, just whenever they cross, something is happening. Trends are changing. So when the line drops below the signal line, as it did here, it's considered convergence and an indicator to buy. And when it rises above the signal line, like it did briefly right there, it looks like, it's called divergence and an indicator to sell. So let's take a look at um, what that did to the actual price. So when it crossed the line here, that was an indicator to buy um, up until here. So actually, if we look on the chart here, from there to there was the indication to buy. Yeah, you'd have made a decent profit on that one. Um, and let's see somewhere where it crosses to above. So here was an indication to sell uh, for this period of time. And yeah, you would have sell. So you can see this indicator tends to work out quite well on some of these cryptocurrency charts. Uh, not all the time. This was an indicator to sell, and then the price just went up. Um, so that one didn't work there, but we saw some pretty big profits over here earlier. Just like any other indicator, MACDs are of course not magic. They're just a pretty good rule of thumb to go by. For whatever reason, they actually work really well in the crypto markets, um, at least for the past few months they have been, uh, more so than in traditional currency markets. Uh, I know people personally that are just trading off the MACD and doing pretty well. Um, again, that could change at any time, though. Past success is not indicative of future returns, uh, so keep updating your strategy and do what works. Uh, if you're one of those people watching the bot videos as well, check out this video about how to turn MACD into Python code. Thanks for watching and happy trading.